Hey guys, it's Tony Tom Logan back with another video for you. This video probably should go on Rush Kit. Um, but so many people have messaged me on this channel and stuff, and I really like this, so I'm going to put it on the main TTL channel. Loads of you have been sending me messages for quite some time about the new Alvacol Nexus uh, limited edition white radiators. I say limited edition, but special edition. Now, as you can see, I've got the Monster full copper version, uh, they, which is an 80mm thick radiator, but they do also do a 60mm thick radiator 360 as well. They're the only two white ones that they've got out at the minute, but I live in the hope that we may see uh, a 240 60mm possibly as well, because I think those the, the 360 60mm uh, thick and the 240 60mm thick, I think those are the two main sizes for radiators personally but anyway uh, another thing is loads of people always say that when i do these things i spend too much time taking stuff out of the packaging so if by magic here's one i prepared earlier um i am going to earn my blue peter badge with this one anyway uh what we will do is i will show you nice and up close because it's it's like a uh satin um white it's not matte, because there is a tiny little bit of sheen now. I don't know whether the light's going to pick it up. But it's, it's not gloss either. Now, I actually really, really like this satin white approach. Um, I think I personally, especially on a radiator, I think I personally prefer this to a gloss. <clears throat> now, the only other white radiators that I've seen uh, done in kind of mass, really, were some older, stupidly expensive phaser ones. Um, so it's nice that uh, these are kind of, they are special edition, but they're definitely more mainstream than they were and definitely a lot easier to get hold of as well and much cheaper. Uh, so I really like that. Obviously, I've got the 80 mil thick one, which is ginormous. I have one of these in the front of Orca. Um, now, one thing I will say is because it is a little bit extra thick, if you want quiet fans, and I mean like really low spinning, because like, I've got quite uh, SP120 quiet editions in Orca, and they're all on fan speed reducers as well. I would suggest running a pair, uh, just so that you've got uh, a nice slow flow coming from one side and then you've got the other fans uh, pulling from the other side. Because um, otherwise, if you end up running like uh, a higher RPM, you're just going to end up making more noise and it kind of spoils the point. Um, that's just a bit of advice, anyway. Now, it, on the, uh, by the threads, because it is threaded, um, they do come with, uh, a set of screws now they come with two full sets so there's enough for push and pull which is quite strange but one of the things you need to remember when you fit this radiator or fit your fans to the radiator there are longer sets and the longer set is to go through say for instance you were bolting it uh, with a set of fans underneath and you were coming through the case on the uh, underside there are puncture resistant plates so if you did get it wrong, they'll hit those plates. And to be fair, the screws aren't long enough really to get down that far anyway with a normal set of fans. But I'm just pointing out to you that there is a longer set to go through a case and then a normal set that you can just use for if you're just sticking the, radio, the fan straight to the rad. So just pointing those two points out to you. Also, there's a set of um, blanking grommets. And you'll see, you'll think to yourself, well, hang on, I'm going to have two barbs on this. Uh, and there's six barb mounting points. Why do I need five blanks? Well, because there's also a drain plug on the bottom. Uh, and if you have this stood up in your rig, like that, for argument's sake, like I've got an orca, it's uh, quite a good idea if it, with that drain plug, if you uh, have that accessible from underneath your case, mark the bottom of your case or something, uh, so that you, uh, you can drill a hole because this makes an excellent drain place. And uh, yes, you can only kind of undo it and dump all the fluid out. You're not going to have uh, like a, a handy um, uh, like bleed line or anything on it, but that will help. And saying about bleed line, I meant drain valve. But saying about bleeding, if you had this in the top of your case, what I would suggest is trying to make sure that this is at the top of your system. Because then what you can do, if that's at the bolted to the top of your case and you've got that up there, you can then 
not take it out, but you'll be able to release the screw and then tighten it back up quickly to be able to bleed the air out. And you can use it like a bleed screw. Uh, just make sure that you have plenty of toweling and everything underneath for any like leakage, because you may get a bit spit out and have it obviously do it while your pump's running. Um, but you can uh, just twist that, you know, just ever so slightly. You'll hear a hiss of air, and then you do it back up again. And you can do that a couple of times, and you can get so much more air out than trying to let it bleed round in your. Um, in your actual system you can do it on the sides with these ones if you want but if you have a look at the the you know the height difference uh air is obviously going to go to the top so the fact that this one's you know right up there you'll be able to get more air out you will still get this bit but obviously then you can let the uh the reservoir and everything do the rest of that so a few basic bits of advice something i will say is uh, i wish alpha call would um just send their stickers out separately because yeah i just it'd be nice to um maybe have like a couple of dots on it so that you know where it's meant to go um and then you put them on yourself because they're very seldomly on the right way around for the way that you actually want them i mean if you wanted it around the other way i suppose you could just turn it around but anyway um it's, if there was another one of these, if there was another bleed line up on this side, it wouldn't be too much of a problem. I still say it'd be nice to be able to put these on yourself. And this one's not even been put on straight. Uh, anyway, um, I absolutely love these rads uh, and I'm really grateful they sent me one. But the problem is when people send me stuff like this, the fact that I really like it, I instantly want to put it in a rig so I have to find a home for it. And obviously Orca's built now so it makes me want to do something else. So I'm racking my brains with what I can do, and uh, I, I personally, I do want to put it in uh, TNR. Um, but we'll just have to see how the plans for that go, because I'm still kind of in two minds whether I'm just going to go air with it, uh, or whether I'm going to go full-blown water cooling and everything yet, and well, we'll just have to see. But I absolutely love this. It's nice to see, like I said, someone trying to make the white stuff more mainstream, because we know that the, the black is going to sell so much more. Um, but to have this uh, option available to you, and really, most of the radiators, I mean, I've painted rads in the past, you, and it can be a bit of a pain. The fact that you could just pick one of these up off the shelves uh, would mean that I'd probably, if I wanted a white radiator, I probably would end up choosing this over another brand, even if the other brand performed better, just because of the colour. Um, it's lucky, really, that these all copper ones do perform bloody well anyway. There's a nice, wide... The FPI count is quite low. I can't remember what it is. Let's have a look. Does it give details on the box? Uh, apparently it doesn't give any of those details on the box. I think it's something like 9 FPI. But the fact that it's a really low fins per inch means that you can use low speed fans and they'll remain quiet. The more fins per inch that you get, the higher the speed fans you really need to use to be able to get the most from them. Um, so, uh, yeah, nice uh, kind of balance there, and they are real quiet. Like I said, I've got um, one of these in black and a 30mm thick one in Orca with uh, push-pull on both radiators, which is ridiculous overkill, but it's just for uh, aesthetics for me. Yes, all the fans are on fan speed reducers. Well, they're actually on two fan speed reducers, and six fans are bolted to it yeah anyway um but they are really really quiet they're bloody good radiators so yes um there we go so that is the uh the video that i wanted to do just to give you a kind of introduction to this and show you the goodies i'd love to oh i'd love to hear from you if uh you've got one of these or you're going to get one of these so please be sure to post in the comments underneath also, don't forget the forums. Everyone needs to be on the OC 3D forum. Sorry for clicking the tripod. Um, but anyway, for now at least, this is Tony Tom Logan, uh, and I'm going to trot off. Ding!